I'm here with Backbone after, I mean, not a un necessarily unexpected victory, but an important one. You guys are now sitting at twice as many wins as your team did last year um, against Boston that looked to be on the up in, in terms of uh, their scrim performances before the season. Now you bested them 3-1. How are you feeling? How, what's on your mind about this match? Uh, fe feeling good. A uh, bit, bit annoyed that it's 3-1. Yeah, it would have been nice if 3-0, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy we managed to put it out. I'm happy we managed to bounce back after map one and then yeah, secure it. For sure. Now with your team, and of course, like you didn't have to like suffer through the last season in terms of high ping, but do do you feel like is there a topic you talk about that you guys finally get to pick uh, play on even ping, especially like players like Hardy, where the main tank role is pretty challenging to play on high ping, right? Um, it, it's been something that's been talked about a bit, not much with me, obviously, since I wasn't one of the people that to mm. do it. But yeah, you know, it's something that Hardy has said that it's you know a lot nicer playing on low ping. I think I think the main thing, not even the ping thing, is the fact that we're here together in person, like behind this, you know, everyone's in the room behind me. Like we're all here together, right? It's a lot easier to scrim and improve when you're together compared to when you're at home and can just lock yourself away after after scrims. For sure. Did you fuel up on some confidence in the Vancouver game as well? Was that something that you felt was important for the team dynamic and atmosphere? Uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, of course, if we, if we managed to lose that somehow, I don't think we'd have been very happy. Uh, yeah. But we, we knew going into the Vancouver game that we were the better team too, I think, right? Um, and that it should be a win. Same as today. We knew that we should win today. Um, and, you know, uh, we've we've been doing better and better in scrimmage, which always builds confidence, right? Uh, but yeah, like, go, the Vancouver game was definitely important in, like, especially after the shot game, it was important in, like, picking us back up and putting us on the right track again. For sure. Now, you started out the match, and, I mean, you used that strategy at different points, but it's sort of like your own little meta strategy where you run out with Ryan and then also, like, move into Rush with May stuff. Like, what is what is your general idea? Did, did you feel like it was important for you guys to develop your own color coming into the season? No, we just like playing Ryan. It's literally that simple. We we just like we we like it. You know, think it's good. It's, it's literally that simple. There's there's no no more thought put into it. Just like playing Ryan. <laughs> is what what's the decision making process between like Ryan Winston come for you guys? Uh, it's like map based and stuff. So for Root today, it's a lot harder to get value out of like the Ryan and the main. And uh, it's something we thought about a bit more after the shot game. Uh, where we we sat down as a team and thought more about exactly where we wanted to play it and what, why and stuff. Because there was a couple of things we weren't happy about during the shot game and where we played it and stuff. Do you feel confident on your main? Yeah. Uh, it's it's probably the hero I've got the most playtime in and competitive player contenders and stuff at this mm. point. Uh, yeah, he's mayor there for quite a while too. Uh it's always always fun to play May, you know. You should ruin other people's day. It's, it's always fun to do that. There's nothing more fun than making it so other people can't play the game. For sure. Now, a little bit about your op opponent. Um, they are one of the teams that have a very strange situation where, you know, some Overwatch League teams just have one tank. They, those guys have three. How do you prep for a team that you never know which tank will be rolling out? Yeah, um, it is something we talked about. It's... But it, it does come down to the simple thing of like, yeah, we know if Punk's in, it's going to be one of two heroes. We know if uh, it's out, I think the other third tank is. Uh, we know if it's out and it's going to be you know one or two heroes. With Marvel, it's a lot more flexible because he's the most flexible tank. At least that's our opinion on it. Um, but you know, we 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 had a good idea of what what tank would be playing, right? So it wasn't really much different compared to you know any other game. Did you scrim them before in the preseason? Because presumably, like a lot of Overwatch League teams, will avoid the f their first week opponents. Of course, because of a lack of otherwise like scrim opponents, you can't really necessarily avoid your second week op opponents. So, did yeah. you scrim them in the preseason? Yeah, we scrimmed them preseason. Um, I honestly don't remember much about the scrims. I think, uh, I I don't think they were necessarily. I don't think we were necessarily the better team in those scrims, maybe. Like, we've improved a lot in the last, like, two, three weeks. Since we got here, really. We were the last team to get to LA, and since we arrived, we've really gotten better. 
I don't think we've played them since we arrived. So uh, they were they were probably more harder in scrims preseason than like today, for instance. How has your scrim performance developed? Like this, let's say this see uh, this week, was it something you were confident on? Uh, this week's been good in scrims for us. We um, yeah, we had yeah, it's, it's been a good week of scrims, right? Um, good results, all the all the right results you'd want from the teams you're playing, right? Like playing against a bad team, you know, not dropping a map or only dropping one, playing against uh, a good team, you know, taking a couple. Of, doing 50 50 right it's, it's been exactly the type of thing you'd want going into an official really mm -hmm. how do you generally like develop the type of compositions you want to run i mean in this instance shacks came in how has that develop over the week uh the shack sub was just something we we wanted to try initially um because teams started playing tracer is like a, a whisper in the pipeline the teams are playing tracer right and you know we have shacks on the bench she's really good at tracer and like, oh, yeah, he's on the bench when we're playing the Ryan May stuff, right? And for the couple maps where we don't think Ryan May is possible and we want to play the monkey stuff, we thought, you know, let, let's try out the trace and see how it goes. And it, it went well. You know, he, he played really well today, in my opinion. Right? Uh, and it, it's just a choice we made there. Like uh, on other maps, like Li Zhang today, where on one map we play monkey and not Ryan, obviously can't sub me out for that because we need to make for the other two. So we, we make do with what it is, right? But it's just it's just a choice. It depends on the map a lot as well. Well, have you guys tried in scrims to do something with Doom, and what what do you generally think about him? Because it feels like currently the teams that are mainly playing Doom almost exclusively are having problems adapting to the meta, right? Yeah, Doom. Doom's a funny one. I think I don't I don't know if we ever actually sat down and tried Doom. Uh, yeah, we we like Brian. We like Monkey. Uh, we, we we did play one map of Doom yesterday at some point, and we let Poco play it because you know if not he's he's barely playing right now because of the meta unfortunately, and um, yeah it, it wasn't our best look. So uh, I think Doom is a very interesting choice for some of the teams that are picking it. I w I personally wouldn't be comfortable with my team playing Doom if I was on some of the other teams that are. Uh, sometimes you've got to know when to not pick something. Can you explain why? Because it feels like a lot. For instance, let's say in the Houston case, they feel like hard locked into the Doom pick because of the personnel yeah. that's playing it. Do you think like if you want to play Doom, you probably should also only be playing it if your player is capable of switching to the Winston for the maps where it otherwise wouldn't work? I mean, it's always you know preferable to have people that can flex, right? Like you, you never want to have a hard like choice locked in for the map because that's the last thing you want uh so it's always better to have that flexibility and i feel like with most of the teams that are running doom right now they have other heroes they can play they just maybe they, maybe they think doom's better doom might be better like um but i i think at a certain point if you're picking heroes like doom you gotta go for for comfort instead <laughs> <laughs> cool. yeah nice carry from you what do you mean yeah, and I mean, both of you uh, performed very well in this match. Um, of course, Hardy is is a bit of an outlier. Is that is that something like that sort of determining sort of the soul at the moment? Because like you said, you like playing um, Ryan. That probably also means Hardy likes playing Ryan. Is is he yeah, some like someone that dictate dictates strategy in that regard in your team? I don't think we'd be playing Ryan if like the rest of the team didn't like it too, just because he liked it, right? Like it's it's a team thing, right? Like he, he's not he, he's not king of the jungle saying we have to play Ryan. Like it's 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 like a team choice, but I, I know he's definitely enjoying new Ryan. He's having a lot of fun with it, as you can probably tell by the games. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Um I generally speaking, how are you enjoying the game? Like, of course we get we've got a bunch of new stuff in uh, Overwatch 2. Um how how generally do you feel your enjoyment of the game is developing? Um Yeah, I'm I am i am definitely enjoying it a lot more than when we first started playing the Alpha. I think most people enjoy it more now than the Alpha. Um I think the situation with ranked and stuff kind of hurts the enjoyment and stuff. Uh, the fact that the beta is going down and however many days it is also doesn't really help. But um, yeah, it's it's exciting. It's it's nice learning a new game, right? It's it's fun. 
I I mean I'm enjoying it more than I think some other people are by the sounds of it. But it, it could still be better. For sure. Now one interesting thing about this week is that we're in a double push week. That's, that seems to be like a, a new thing. Do you think that that game mode is robust enough to be like the a pretty heavy determinant of how a series goes? I think it's, it's, it's like got a similar volatility to it, I guess it's Koth anyway. So I actually don't think it's that bad. Personally, I really enjoy playing push. I, I just find it really fun for some reason. I'm not sure why. It's it's just a fun game mode to me. Um, but I don't think like. Obviously, it's not the exact same, but I don't think there's much of a difference like in how like, volatile it is between it and Koth, right? In Koth, you lose first fight, you're, you're always going to have a hard time. In Push, you lose first fight, you're probably going to have a hard time. For sure. Now, as a last question, you guys are looking at a pretty tough schedule ahead of you. Yeah. Next opponents are Houston, Glad's ATL. You're currently sitting at... What, what's your score? 2-1? 2-1, two, one, two, two, one, yeah. 2-1. Two, one. Two, one. Where's the rest of the the stage going? What what's your, what are your goals, and how do you think you will play into these teams? We're gonna win all three, definitely. <laughs> no, um, I mean, just just one game at a time. It's how we're treating it right now, right? Like, yeah, we'll look to Houston next, which is our next game. Um, you know, if we win that, great. If we don't, I don't think anyone's gonna pull their hair out over losing to Houston. It's a similar way we look to the shot game, right? It's like we'll go in and we'll we'll do this, we'll do that. But at the end of the day, if we lose, it's not it's not one of the games we feel like we should be winning, like today or like the Vancouver game, right? It's one of those games where it's like, we want to win, we're going to do our best to win. We'd very much like to, but we're not going to like implode if we don't. For sure. What do you think is the most beatable of the three for you guys? Uh, I don't know. We, I'm, I think Houston, probably. We haven't scrimmed Atlanta in a while. They blacklisted us like three weeks ago. So uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know how we'll really do into Atlanta. It'll be one of those things we'll just show up and see, I guess. But if I had to pick who I thought I'd win between Houston and Glads, I'd probably pick Houston. Sure. That's probably the most realistic one for us. Uh, it would, of course, be sweet revenge to win against ATL after they blacklisted you. But Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the interview and best of luck in no preparing for the next game. Thank you.